What is up everyone? It's Punkshu here, and I'm an idle idiot. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about a little game called NGU Idle. Now this is one of those games that just kind of blows you away if you're really into incremental games. Now visually it's not much, it's not much to look at, really it's just a bunch of numbers and bars and such, but I will tell you it is mechanically one of the most intriguing in incremental games that I have ever played. Now when we talk about an idler, this is a true idler. It doesn't really have any beneficial clicking mechanics, at least not what I've been able to explore over the last three weeks playing this game. But what's awesome about that is that having an auto clicker doesn't give you any huge advantage and it really allows you to focus on the core gameplay. Now when we talk about complexity and depth, what I'm talking about is the systems that you have within the game, starting with basic training. Now this is something where you're just gonna build your stats up. And why are we building those stats up? to fight bosses. Now when we're fighting these bosses, it's pretty amazing because it goes up in levels and these bosses have some pretty crazy little like tidbits of story that go along with them. And I would definitely encourage any of you guys trying this game out to read that and, and really get a, a sense of <laughs> the silliness of this game. Now, when we fight these bosses, as we progress through the actual game itself, we're going to start unlocking different features that come from defeating certain levels of bosses. And one of the cool things that I find with this game is the adventure mode. And that's something that you're gonna lock, unlock uh, fairly early in the game. And what that allows you to do is essentially you've got an adventurer that you can equip that ends up running like these separate types of bosses and dungeons by himself. But you get gear, which is pretty crazy, something I don't think we've ever really seen in an incremental before. And that gear allows you to uh, progress your, your, your main stats further based on the gear stats that you have. So that's really cool. And so you've got your bosses you're fighting, you've got the inventory management, you've got the incremental pieces of the gear management, you've got the incremental pieces of the main system. I mean, you've got things like a time machine, which is a pretty interesting story in itself, but I won't spoil too much, but it allows you to increase your flow of money. There's a magic system in here. And honestly, there's a third bar that I haven't even hit yet. So this game is like jam packed with uh, things to keep you engaged. So it's, it's really cool. So what's What's the end like what's the product what makes this incremental like every other incremental and in the sense of restarting well it's the rebirth system so every time you rebirth you're going to increase your number and doing certain things within the game whether it be time unlocking certain things using your blood magic uh killing certain bosses uh doing certain achievements it's going to increase your number and number is an actual thing so uh one of the one of the things that you want to look at here is going to be your rebirth menu and you'll see here that number is basically your multiplier your core multiplier and the crazy thing is i've never really seen this before but your number can go backwards depending on your circumstances so depending on how quickly you rebirth without having any progression so it's pretty cool uh you you're doing all this you're gaining experience experience is spent to increase your base stats it's used to increase your energy regen your your uh your blood magic regen things like that so there's a lot you can do with the xp in this game and it's just i mean if you're into incrementals this game is crazy and like i said there's not much visually there but it's definitely worth a shot so be sure to head on over to congregate or grab it on cartridge and give this game a look and until next time this has been punk Shoe and i'm an idle idiot